intriguing stuff. Good, you got my letter. Gore's just about to start his presentation. This should be interesting. Now let's welcome Professor Gore. The seventh law of Maginamics posits that magical energy cannot be destroyed. Today, I will prove that magic is a limited resource, like water or, or timber. Using my advanced equipment, I have detected significant drops in the world's ambient magic levels. This drop, I believe, is directly attributed to the return of the Elder Dragons. They consume magic at an alarming rate. If the dragons are not stopped soon, they will leech all of the magic from the world. Ah, bosh! Magic doesn't get consumed. It changes form and concentration, but it always returns. It's part of a closed system. I have proof. Oh, the data is... Oh, get off the Where stage. did I leave those notes? I must have left them in my lab. Uh, please, excuse me while I fetch my records. I can prove the problem exists, then we can focus on its solution. Professor Gore will return shortly. Until then, please welcome Sepha from the Phrenologist crew. Thank you for coming. I see a lot of overlap in Gore's theory and our shared goals. As do I. If Gore's research aligns with the Priories, we may be looking at a cultural revolution. Revolutions are won militarily, I agree, but not nothing can happen until Gore makes it. Still, case. Gore's why don't we all settle could in prove and useful? Savant, allow me to present three of Ratasum's finest minds. Slep of the Vigil, Batanga of the Order of Whispers, and Crosso of the Durman Priory. I asked them here to listen to Professor Gore's speech, because they all have an interest in fighting the Elder Dragons. Pleased to meet you, Savant. The Durman Priory is dedicated to research and exploration that will help us combat the Elder Dragons. As you can imagine, we've been watching Professor Gore's progress with keen interest. I'm glad to see you share that interest. We all share the Priory's interest, just not their methods. In the Order of Whispers, we specialize in covert activity, information, infiltration, and assassination. I understand you're more of a doer than a researcher, so you'll appreciate this. If Gore's theory gives us a clear avenue of attack, we intend to use it. How clear does a target have to be for you sneaks? The dragons aren't exactly tiny, nor do they keep a low profile. The Vigil's army of dedicated fighters was founded to confront the dragons through force of arms. I'm here to see if Gore's work can help us do that. Pleased to meet you all. Professor Gore's theory is groundbreaking, and the implications are monumental. I'm interested to hear him finish his presentation. He should be back soon. Let's see if any of the other speakers have any insights for us while we wait. An exhaustive study of Tyrian physiognomy led me to derive what I call Cepha's constant. Multiplied by the mean ratio of body mass to brain size, it yields an important racial metric. Namely, said race's importance as a factor in the eternal alchemy. Asura scored highest naturally. Then in descending order, we have Silvari, Char, Human, and Nord. Your attention, please. I have just been informed that our colleague Gore will not be returning. The Arcane Eye reports that he was killed in a tragic lab accident while recovering his notes. It is a terrible blow to science. We should all mourn one of Ratasum's finest minds. On that dolorous note, this seminar is hereby concluded. Thank you for coming. Greetings. 
Gore died just as he was about to present proof of his theory. Does that strike anyone else as suspicious? Even dubious? It does. I'd like to inspect Gore's lab and review his documentation. Though if the arcane eyes involved, we may not get that chance. The Order of Whispers can help. The Arcane Eye serves the Arcane Council, right? They have to do what the Council says. It's in their charter. We simply pay a visit to High Counselor Flax's lab, find the materials to make a convincing forgery, and walk right past the Arcane Eye. How unnecessarily complicated. Simpler to just outwit the sentries outside Gore's lab. The Arcane Eye can't match the Priory's brain power. I'll leave fact-finding to the Priory and Whispers. When you lot establish a clear objective, the Vigil will be ready. Listen, Savant, I'm pursuing a long-term, big-picture strategy here. So I want you to take charge. Choose the most viable plan and see it through. We need to know what Gore was going to show us. And if he was silenced, we need to know who did it and why. Good luck. You've chosen wisely. I'll meet you outside Gore's lab. That went smoothly enough. <laughs> 